Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Jeremiah's J Man Monero, J Man Speaks. Would you like to save money? Yes. Would you like to do more video? Yes. Would you like to save more money on the video equipment that you need to buy? Yes. All right, then watch the live stream because we got all your recommendations, but you have to buy them today because it's Prime Day. Oh, shoot. You couldn't hear me speaking at all? Can somebody comment? Thank you, Karen. All right, we got we to gotta rewind. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Karen Baker, you get the speak up of the day award. All right, now I got to go back. Rewind. I'm going to edit all this off in the post-production. First thing, Halo Boat wireless laptop power bank. This is uh, our choice better than the $59.99 because it has the wireless charging on the top. You can take your phone and put it right on the top to charge it along with your cell phone, uh, along with any other devices that need charging. It has 10 and a half hours of charging in there. You can even, you can even jumpstart your car. That's right, folks. Okay, next one. <laughs> the ring light. This is what we have. We like this better because you don't individually adjust the legs. It's better to adjust the height right on the tripod itself. Uh, it holds your phone right in the middle. And when you look at these, you want to make sure that you have the three different color settings. Uh, if you see, if I did that here, uh, I'm on the warm setting. This is the orange setting. This is the white. I like bright white. See how that looks weird? So I like in the middle, nice warmness to it. All right. And increased height, 62 inches. It helps to keep it above eye level. We always talk about that. That's your, your best case scenario when, uh, when you're recording video, keeping the camera above the eye level so you can look as pretty as possible. And you don't get all these chins and it's not looking up your nostrils. All right. Next one. The tripod we just said, this one here is super cheap. I'd buy probably two or three of these. Um, again, both of these could be great giveaways if you're uh, an events manager, office manager, a broker. You want to encourage your agents to do stuff. Man, I'd buy them a selfie light, buy them this. What are you, 30 bucks in? Here, you get one, 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 you get one. Now go out and do video. You got no excuses not to. Okay? But those flexible legs you see there can wrap around different things. Uh, we actually have one like this that we it's sitting on the top of our TV. Might be hard for you to see. Hold on. I'll try to show you one second. I'm coming over here again behind the scenes. Yeah, so you see it right over here on the top of our TV. We put a webcam on top of that, and then that looks at our, our whiteboard that we have there. All right. Next. What's next, boys and girls? Oh, yes, the MyQ Chamberlain Smart Garage Door Opener. For those of you who have ever, ever, ever left your garage door open, this is for you. Okay, and what it does is it it, it um, connects with your, you know, it has to be a Chamberlain garage door, but most of, mostly all the newer ones are Chamberlain. But it links with an app on your phone. These make great gifts for clients, right? It's a techie kind of gift that they probably won't have if they have a smartphone. It'll tell you when your, your garage door is open. Uh, you can actually schedule it so that your garage door closes automatically. I'm ordering this for what it costs, $16.98. My kids always leave the garage door open, and we have a detached garage. And when it's dark, sometimes I can't really tell whether it's open or closed. There has been uh, instances where we've left it open. But also a great client gift. Buy a bunch of these. You know, you buy 10 of them, you got 10 client gifts ready to go. Ready to go. Tile mate. Okay, have you ever lost anything you couldn't find, whether it's your keys, whether it's your wallet, your computer, I hopefully you don't use your computer, but anything you want to keep track of. Uh, yeah, look at my checkout. Man, my checkout has got a lot of stuff in it. Anything you want to keep tra track of, you put a tile on it, you can track it via Bluetooth. Okay, uh, find nearby up to 200 feet. You now you can ask your smart device to find it for you. Next. Fire stick also makes great gifts for the holidays, housewarming, uh, for clients, I guess. But so cheap. 25 bucks, you get them a fire stick uh, with Alexa voice, voice remote. Buy now. Save later. Toshiba 43-inch smart TV. Now, you might be able to find it a little bit cheaper. And again, I'm going to go right back to my behind-the-scenes look so you can see what I'm, I'm working with. That's 43 inches. This is 42, and this is 42 on both sides. These are not smart TVs. They cost me 130 bucks each. Uh, so if you 
want to get something for the office. If you have a conference room like or, or something like that, or you're going to have clients in your office. And smart TVs can be better because can be <clears throat> is what I'll say. If you're going to use it because you can broadcast, you know, you could, if I have a YouTube video, I want to show a client, I could stream it from my phone to, to the smart device. Um, I can show things from my phone onto the smart, smart TV and so on and so forth. Entirely up to you. Uh, you could say probably 50 bucks if you wanted. And if 40, if 43 is too big, it, they have them for 120 bucks smart TV. They're like 32 inch. Let's see if I have it here. Yep. Here we go. 32 inch, $120. So that if you have limited desk space, um, and actually I should, I should, should have searched up TV mounts. Cause that's the other thing. Uh, save that space you could take if you have a 32 or 42. Um, I like the three screen setup, left, right, middle with my laptop in the middle, but you put them on the wall. If you don't have desk space, now it's perfect. You get your whole desk open. You don't have to block it with a big old TV monitor. Okay. Next on the agenda, the blue Yeti. Yeti lives. Yo, it's a 10 year anniversary. Super cool color. Um, the difference between th that microphone and the microphone that I'm using here, let me go back to the main view real quick. Okay. So you see this microphone here. It's the pattern and how it picks up sound. So this is a cardioid, um, cardioid microphone, which means it hears the sound from the top. So if I went like this, hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. You won't hear it as well as if I talk right here. That's noise canceling. Like, for example, today uh, we have painters at the office. They're vacuuming. They're sanding. They're doing all kinds of noisy stuff. You don't hear it because of the noise canceling effect. Uh, it seems like every time I want to do a live stream, there's landscapers outside making all kinds of noise, right? So no problem. The Blue Yeti is the answer because you can have the cardioid or you can have omnidirectional. So if you're going to. I'd use this microphone, and this is why I'm probably going to get it um, if I get permission from my CFO. But it's omnidirectional, so I could sit it on the desk. So me and my son want to do a live stream. I don't have to pass the microphone back and forth. It will hear both of us because omnidirectional means omni multiple directions and how it hears things. Okay? Uh, this is the $99 version, and then they have – hold on. The $150 version. The $150 version is a little bit better. It has the uh, LED metering, so you can see what your levels are. You know, uh, I don't know if that makes that big of a difference to me because I have a separate program where I monitor my audio levels and I can tell when I'm peaking. Anytime you hear somebody when they're yelling, ah, right, that, that would have peaked had I not had my levels set to a limit where it would automatically stop that. <laughs> Leticia at Evans says, stop spending my money. Uh, that's funny. But I like this one a little bit better. For the 50 bucks, you're going to kind of future-proof yourself. Uh, they both have the gains on there that you can adjust automatically. You can choose from your different um, capture, four-capsule array. What do they call it? Oh, they have this one also has the vo the voice broadcast effects, which I don't know. My voice is my voice. I don't like it all the time, but I want you to still recognize my voice when you see me in person, right? So don't don't be like, hey, this is Tupain. How y'all doing? I don't want no auto tune. No auto tune that shit, man. Keep it real. Keep it one hundred. Um, Jeff says he prefers the Shure microphone and mainly because, you know, Jeff, if somebody recommends something, Jeff's going to go in the opposite direction, but Shure is a great brand, a little bit pricier. Um, Jeff, maybe it's, I didn't look them up to see if they had a prime day special, but if you want to put that, a lot of the professional podcasters and, uh, and, and YouTubers, Shure, it's a great brand. Um, raise your hand if you're Shure. Uh, you see what I did there? Raise your hand. So Jeff's raising his hand. So just search up Shure MV7 or MV5B. Jeff, maybe we should do a live stream talking about microphone differences and they could hear the the difference. That, that would be cool. But, okay. So you get that. Now, something to hold it in. 
Okay, and let me tell you, anybody that tells you you need a desk microphone stand is lying to you. The main reason we have this, it's, it's to look cool. I'll be honest, right? Because once you, I'm standing right now, so you can't really uh, see. Let me see if I can zoom it out a little bit. But, you know, if I was sitting, when you watch the podcasters and look at go all the way up like this. Right, when you watch them, it just gives you kind of like another level of credibility, if you will. You got this cool microphone with the with the boom arm and you can move it in and out. But it also gives you the, the flexibility if you're gonna have multiple people. If you're doing a studio and you want to do like an interview style uh, video, then you could have the boom arm with the omnidirectional uh, microphone. You could have it coming from the top, from the ceiling, if you want to get really fancy and then bring it down, like uh, if you've ever done interviews on the radio or been on the radio. But shoot, for fifteen ninety nine. Why not be cool? Don't be too cool for school. Uh, let's see. What else we got left? Webcam. All right. So this is 48 bucks. This is a gr um, We don't personally have this yet because when we ordered our webcam last year, uh, this didn't exist. But a 4K webcam uh, for $48. Let me tell you this. You're not going to stream in 4K unless you have the bandwidth. I can't, I could not stream 4K right now for my office because our bandwidth sucks. Um, Jeff, Jeffrey, who's watching, he's got like, I don't know, a gig up and a gig down or something ridiculous. If you have fiber where you are, you could stream in 4K and you'll see the difference. Like right now, I'm streaming in 1080p, which I think then uh, Facebook will lower the resolution to 720, I'm pretty sure. But you could still see how this, um, camera is much crisper it's a high quality camera but it's 1080p uh, so that's why the resolution looks so good uh, typically so crisp and clean and all of that is just an just another way to set, set yourself apart from the competition you send a video to a seller it looks great it looks clean it looks professional somebody else sends their video and it looks like the Blair Witch Project and it's all blurry and pixelated um, Jeffrey said, not everyone looks good. In it's how you look, Jeff, okay? Uh, Jeff says, not everybody looks good in HD. While that's true, you can't hide from it. Uh, oh, let me go back to the camera. Sorry, I was still on my, on my face. Back over here. Uh, it is the 4K webcam. And I think what I'll do, maybe I'll post all the links in the comments. It might Maybe that'll help you guys to order the right stuff. And again, I don't have any affiliations. I was just sitting at the airport yesterday um, and I curated this and I went through and I said, all right, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good uh, to help you. Because I know one of the biggest challenges for people getting started with video is what do I buy? What do I buy? And last but not least, again, this could be, uh, oh wait, I'm missing one though. I know I'm missing one. But okay, so the lights. And again, let me go back to behind the scenes, but you see these are LED lights. Um, this is kind of middle of the road. Uh, the ones we have right now are from a company called Vijim, v V-I-J-I-M. V -I, -I, uh, I think we paid $80, eh, similar in price. But uh, these are good, they're LED. You can adjust the brightness, you can adjust the color. Right for the price, I think 160 bucks gives you a two pack with the carrying cases and the tripod. That's a tremendous deal. Tremendous deal. I started with the box lights. They were a great place to start. They were cheap. I think I paid thirty dollars for two of them. But as you need to adjust in your lighting and and you know that can all make a difference when you're when you're doing your video related stuff. All right. So let's see. I think I got one more item. Where is it? It's the microphones. Got two turntables and a microphone. Here we are. All right, so the wireless lavalier microphone system. Uh, we use this, we have one, and the, and again, like we, re we recommend things because after the facts we realize that we shouldn't have been cheap and we should have spent a little bit more money. Hold on one second while I find it. But drop any questions in the in the comments. Oh, the camera that I'm that I'm currently using is the Sony A 
5100 I believe. I think it's still available from uh, Best Buy. It's not a webcam. It's a DSLR. Uh, if you message me, you're on my page now on J-Man Speaks. If you have my equipment list, if you sent the keyword equipment, it will reply back. It has the, the Sony A. I'm pretty sure it's 5100. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple other things that you need with that. Uh, there's the cam link, uh, some other things, but that's on the list as well. A little bit pricey. I'm saying start with the 4K camera, the webcam. That's whatever it is, 60 bucks, because my camera costs 450 bucks. Okay, but look at I travel with a webcam all the time, because I don't like the webcam on my on my computer. And here, so you see what we have here, the lavalier system. You'd plug one end, the one in the middle is your receiver. So that receives the signal. You plug that into your cell phone or your camera if you're recording with a, whatever kind of camera you have. Uh, the other end, you have two of them. So if you're going to do like we recommend, you're going to interview a business owner. You mic up the business owner and you mic up yourself. Now you have two mics. With their, both of the mic sound coming into one device. So you see how, like, I'm going to go back to the other view here again so you guys can see it. You see how we have uh, the receivers here. There's an input. This microphone goes onto my person like this and then clips on my belt. And then the other side, one second. Then the other side plugs into the computer or your cell phone or whatever else you're doing. Um, I've used it here in the office as well wirelessly so that I don't have to be connected to this thing all the time. Uh, I use it where I could just walk and talk if I'm doing a big event and I just want to use my hands a lot. So it's hard to hold the microphone all the time. I will post a list of my recommendations. Uh, any other questions, folks, before we hop off? We wanted to keep it short and simple, and I'll trim off the beginning uh, or the section where you couldn't hear me at all because <laughs> the microphone wasn't on. Step one in uh, using a microphone, turn it on. Okay? On. On. Surprise! All right, cool. That's it. We're going to leave you with a little DJ air <laughs> This is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero with J-Man Speaks. Make it a great day, folks.